besties welcome back to my kitchen welcome back to Lindo's kitchen if you are new here my name is Lindo and yeah this is my kitchen where I share recipes with you guys so please make sure that you subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any any future videos that I'll be uploading right and to my returning besties welcome back besties so happy to have you guys back here you guys are the real deal <laughs> so yeah anyway guys today I will be making um, I'll be making three ingredient condensed milk biscuits yeah so it's three ingredients condensed milk biscuits so it's very quick and easy so I'm just gonna take you guys along and show you my how I actually make these and yeah man I hope that you enjoy it and also if you do try it out do you comment on the uh, comment section below and let me know if you've tried it out and how it actually turned out. Anyway, enjoy the videos, bestie. Ooh, when I'm feeling so hungry, I go watch my favorite girl. Make a girl. When she's cooking and baking, I love that delicious dessert. Man, I love that Lindo's kissing. Lindo's kissing. I love you, Lindo. Yeah. Cook for me, my Lindo. Man, I love that Lindo's kissing. Lindo's kitchen, I love you, Lindo. Yeah, cook for me, my Lindo. Okay, besties. So the ingredients that we need are very simple. Basically, it's flour, it's condensed milk, and butter or margarine. So basically, here I have one cup and one tablespoon of flour. So I'm using cake wheat flour, and then I also have about 110 grams of uh, margarine you can also use but but in this case I'm using margarine and then lastly my condensed milk over here I'm only gonna be using 60 grams so this container is actually about 385 grams so I'm only gonna be using 60 grams just like a tiny bit like that so yeah let me just um, get everything ready and then I'll show you guys the method and all of that okay besties so I'm firstly going to add my margarine make sure that your margarine is like at room temperature don't also like warm it a lot in the microwave so and I'm also going to be using my hands if you like you can use uh, an electric hand mixer or a spatula or whatever you prefer but I'm just going to be using my hands if you're using your hands just make sure that your hands are also clean so I'm just gonna be adding my flour and then I'm gonna mix it with the margarine Okay, and then I'm also going to just add the condensed milk remember it is just like 60 grams of condensed milk me okay, if it's a bit too wet just add a bit of flour Okay, so this is our dough so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, sort of like put it on my table I'm not really gonna need it just to flatten it a bit and then I'm gonna start cutting also in the meantime make sure that your oven is on make sure that your oven is on guys add 180 degrees Okay, besties, so I'm going to start cutting the, the dough. And I've also greased my pan. Always make sure that your pan is greased. Or you can use like some baking paper that you can put on top so that the cookies do not stick on the pan. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to be using this small little cutter. So just always make sure that you dip it in flour first, guys, and then you cut your biscuits. And please don't do this. I always tell you guys, don't do this when you are cutting. Okay, I just want to cut small, little small pieces on just like, um, on just three of them in the center. And then on the others, I'm just going to sprinkle some small little sprinkles. Okay, besties, so I'm taking them to the oven. I'm going to bake them for about 10 to 12 minutes. Just look at um, your oven, how hot it's going to be. So I'm just quickly taking them there. And we are done. So this is how our biscuits look like. So right now I'm just going to let them cool down before I actually take them out of the pan and then... I'm still going to do a few things on them, so I'll show you guys once they have cooled and yeah, I'll show you the next step, so yeah, stay tuned. Okay besties, so right now our cookies have cooled down, so I'm going to combine two cookies using condensed milk, so I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take one round cookie and then I'm going to add some condensed milk in the center and then I'm going to take this one remember I open one I open holes on other ones so then I just Press them on together like that and we have a cookie like this oh I don't want to tilt it over oh no it broke okay oh my goodness okay it's fine <laughs> Besties, I hope that you enjoyed the video as much as I did right now I just can't wait to eat these cookies and if you do happen to try it out do let me know in the comment section below it's very quick and very easy and I hope that your family will also enjoy these cookies as much as I know my family will so please remember to subscribe comment below and hit the notification bell as well as give this video a huge thumbs up and I'll see you besties on the next video.